Good day, hi, and welcome. All right, so this is uh, going to be a short little video here. It's kind of technically a kickoff video for this channel, but uh, kind of yes and kind of no. So I got my three cameras here, and um, what I want to talk about is uh, basically online photography and getting back into it. Now I got a, a digital camera here. This is a great little camera. This is a Coolpix uh, S ninety two hundred. The the camera that this re replaced, that Nikon replaced, this is a couple of years old. This one um, was really good, and it was like the S three hundred or whatever. And it was such a good little camera, and I don't know why they they had to go and try and improve it, and then they came up with this one. This one's good, but the lens is kind of noisy. But that's like fourteen megapixel, and this camera here is actually better than both of these cameras put together. Uh, when you when you in terms of uh, picture quality and stuff like that, this thing could take amazing photos for what it is. Uh, and then of course I got my old trusty Nikon D100. I've had this thing since 2003 when it came out. I guess in 2002, 2003. This was the super camera of its day. Uh, 6.1 megapixels. Still takes very good pictures, but it's dated in technology. And then I've got this Pentax uh, MOE Super which is basically a film camera. This used to be my aunt's before she passed away. Uh, I haven't used this camera yet. I, I'm pretty sure it still works. It's, it's as manual and as analog as you can get. And I, I'm looking forward to doing some film uh, photography with it. Not too much because, you know, it's more costly. So hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy that. Um, you know, I don't know how I'll be able to present the photos to you, but just to show you the sharpness and whatever. So uh, that camera is going to be interesting. That one there, uh, that's going to be very interesting. But this is a workhorse here. I've used this camera for a long time now. When it comes to the online photography stuff, uh, a lot of people think you have to go to, the, to this route. You don't really necessarily. You can start off with something like that. Now, mind you, this is not a cheap camera from when I bought it. And uh, sorry, it's 16 megapixels. <laughs> You'd think I'd uh, know my own. I thought it was only 14. Uh, well, yeah, 16 megapixel, and that thing, like, you could see, uh, I took a picture of, um, my brother had a, uh, what do you call it, those uh, little, uh, little mini, uh, bearded dragons, little lizard, and you could actually see the dandruff on the, 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 zoom in so much you could see the dandruff on the, the bearded dragon, that's how sharp, that, that's, it's incredible what a little camera like that could do. So, I mean, when you compare it to, say, going back to... This is probably 1970s, 1980s technology. This is millennium technology, and this is closer to current, maybe 2009, 2010 when I bought that camera. So that's already seven years old. Man, where does the time go? But at the end of the day, uh, each one of these cameras could serve a purpose, and each one of these cameras could do something. But you don't have to start off at the top end. Now, if you're going to get into the digital, well, something like this isn't going to do you very well. You're going to have to, uh, you know, you're going to have to get into the digital. But you can get a, a power shot or something like that. I had a power shot that was a three and a half megapixel camera, and that thing, you know, it did, it did a lot. I even sold photos on it. Now, selling photos online, I'll do those in separate videos. Uh, I'm getting back into it uh, right now. I'm using Al Alamy, E L A M Y. Um, I'm testing that site out. Uh, apparently, they, they, they pay pretty good, uh, that type of thing. And I've been on uh, Big Stock Photo, which is now uh, Shutter. Uh, I think Shutterstock bought them out or whatever. But Big Stock Photo, I've been on that for like over 10 years. And I've made about 200 and some odd bucks. But I only have like 200 and some odd photos on there. And I haven't probably uploaded photos in over 10 years on that site, believe it or not. Uh, I think 2007, 2008, is, or 2006, 2007 was probably the last time I uploaded on it. I uploaded last night on it. So I'm going to start to build that up. So these aren't get-rich-quick schemes or whatever, but it's a place where you could start to sell your photography and stuff like that. Now, as far as weddings, I did a couple of weddings, did a couple of car shows. I did a couple of little things like that. And I've been paid various different things, uh, but not enough to pay off this camera because I, I, I never went at it, uh, uh, you know, full, full bore. So... Uh, I don't think I'll be going at it full bore, but I'm going to run this camera into the ground. Considering that it has a sh had a shutter life of 130,000 photos, I've probably done triple that on that camera. Um, but I'm going to do some more photography stuff. As I get into it, you guys will be seeing you know, how I do things and stuff like that. Sometimes less is more. I do like working in manual mode. 
uh, but sometimes you know you can't beat auto either so there's there's it depends what you want to accomplish and I'll do different things in different videos so hopefully you'll like that so anyway uh, yeah there we go so rate subscribe share comment like if you like the, the commentary there'll be a link down below for donations to help the, fa help the channel All right thank you